Touch three people and said override. Come on, come on, come on. Y'all help me. Touch somebody and say override. Say override, 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 override. Override, override. Push the override button. Yeah. Hallelujah. Go, glory. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Override. Thanks be unto God that gives us the victory. I'm pushing towards my victory. I'm pushing towards my deliverance. I know who I am now. I know what I am now. Somebody shout glory. Shout glory. Now speak down to your bosom. Grab yourself and say override. Overriding what I'm experiencing and I'm pressing till I get to what I know. Elijah said, I see a hand, a cloud about the size of a man's hand. That what I know is going to catch up with what I see. Say, get ready, because I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. There's something coming. There's something that God's doing. Get ready, because I hear the sound. I hear it, but I don't yet see it. I feel it, but I've not yet experienced it. I'm rich while I'm still broke. I'm in love while I'm still lonely. Y'all not hear what I'm saying. I'm preaching to 2,000 people while I'm preaching to 200. Override. See? Touch somebody, override the safety button. See, sometimes the safety is there to keep you from going too far. But you need to go a little bit further right now. It's trying to protect you. Help me, Holy Ghost. But you need to do something foolish now. Elijah said, I see you. He said, tell, Elijah, tell, tell Ahab, get up your chariot. Because it's about to rain. So in other words, Ahab, it hadn't rained for three years. Hallelujah. I'm living in the land of promise while I'm in living in a famine. Oh, I'm preaching to me now. I keep hearing prophesied. Church going to be full. Church going to be full. Church going to be full. And I walk out here one day, I see it full. Next day, I see 200 people. Sometimes I got to override. But you know what? I see a cloud. I heard something first. You will hear before you will see and you got to go by what you hear touch somebody i'm gonna preach it say i know what i heard y'all not helping me preach up here high five somebody right now and said i know what i heard Oh yeah, you might not believe it, you might not want to see it, but I know what I heard, I know what God told me, and I'm standing on the promises of God, I'm going to say to you right now, finally my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy, for we wrestle now, against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness and the rulers of darkness spiritual wickedness in highly places and I want to tell you having done all to stand 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 therefore stand touch somebody to 
I'm take a stand on the word of God. I feel my daddy. Hallelujah. Somebody praise him up in here. Somebody glorify him up in here. Ah, for sweet people said, I'm taking a stand on the word of God. Ah, I know what I heard. I ain't no punk saint. I'm on. Help me, Dad. Help me preach. I'm armed. I ain't a little bit dangerous. I'm extremely dangerous. Devil, I will take you out in the name of Jesus. I'll smack you with the glory to God. Huh? Go upside your head with a thank you, Jesus. When I get you down, I'm going to stomp you with a God as a glow God, good God. And I'm going to take all my weakness and hallelujah. Give God the highest praise right upside your head. Connected with my promise. That's what he's doing. He keep messing with my promise. Bishop, we're gonna show this thing with Bishop Jakes. Bishop Jakes make this point. He said, once God told Elijah, get ready because it's gonna rain, God was finished. Y'all didn't hear what I'm saying. That means once God's going to do it, it's done. Or once God has done it, it's done. God didn't do anything else after that. Because he had already finished what he was going to do, even though Elijah saw no evidence of what God said. How is it that God stands up in the middle of a famine and says, you better get ready because it's about to rain. There's been a drought. There's been no life. There's been no movement. There's been no progress. There's been no development. Things have been dying. Things start when a drought, help me, Holy Ghost. When a drought comes, animals start feeding on each other. That means people start feeding on themselves when there is no water. In the hope to try to find some somewhere. Y'all not hearing, but God says it's going to rain. And Elijah tells Ahab, Tell this chariot, tell Ahab, you better get your chariot together because I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. That means whatever it's been is about to change dramatically. High five somebody say dramatically. Tell them, tell them say there's going to be a dramatic change in your life. After the Holy Ghost, y'all not helping me. Tell them there's going to be a dramatic, I mean a dramatic. It will not be the same as it has been. God's about to override. I feel the Holy Ghost. Here's the conflict and the contradiction of the thought process is that I hear it but I don't see it. I hear it, but I'm not experiencing it. I hear what God's saying, and because I don't see it, and my experience is not lining up with my confession. Y'all not hear what I'm saying. I confess that I believe God. I keep saying that I know God's going to do it. But every time I look around, I see something different. I've been living in this one bedroom apartment and I keep hearing God say, going to give me a house. But every time I turn the key, I'm in the same place. I'm a CEO while I'm working for somebody for $10 an hour. But I feel a CEO down in my bosom. Y'all not hear me. I'm going to give Jamal Bryant credit right now. Jamal said something the other day that just blew my mind. He said there must be a millionaire trapped inside of my body. He said I feel it down in my gut. Touch somebody said there must be a millionaire trapped inside my body. Look at him and said why? Tell him said because I have such expensive taste. 
Are y'all hearing me? Even though I ain't got no money, I'm still looking at the million dollar homes. I'm still looking at the Louis Vuittons and the Gucci's. Y'all not hear what I'm trying to tell you. I'm still, y'all, y'all, I'm still looking at the fifty thousand dollar car when all I got is a hoop deal and a bus pass. Y'all not hearing me. All of them sometimes my confession does not line up with my experience. 